Hi guys, it's Claire here, back again with another review. Today we are taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and how it compares to the iPad Pro 2022 for digital art. Let's get started with some of its features. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 9 Ultra features, as you can already tell, a massive screen at 14.6 inches, but surprisingly only 0.22 inches thin, making this a wide but slim model weighing only 732 grams, so you can easily slide this into any backpack, tote bag, or you name it, it will probably work. It also comes with an S Pen stylus that has a haptic audio feature for a more realistic writing experience. Not to mention, it is powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and has up to 12GB of RAM, 256GB of storage. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is super lightweight and for anyone who's looking for that hyper-immersive screen while keeping everyday loads light, this might be perfect for you. As a 2D artist, I was really excited to try out the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. However, I was a little disappointed with the overall experience. The screen is definitely large and immersive and provides a lot of real estate to move around. But I would say that the experience is very different. As someone who is familiar with both digital and traditional art mediums, it just felt like it took a lot more time adjusting to such a scale that it makes it awkward to use for drawing, as my arm tends to get in the way. And for some, I think this might also be an issue, especially if you're cross-hatching or shading. Moreover, it's rare that most artists choose canvas ratios that are similar to the Tab S9 Ultra. Right now, I'm working on my traditional art portfolio, and my favourite size of sketchbook is A5. It covers about 40% of the Tab S9 Ultra display area, so it's in the ballpark of an iPad mini. Now, when it comes to the display experience itself, Samsung has always been at the top with their displays. The AMOLED display has really good colour reproduction. Colours are really vibrant and bright. Comparing the Tab S9 Ultra with the iPad Pro 2022, I would say that these two screens are pretty similar. As mentioned before, this tablet comes with the S Pen stylus and it has had some noticeable updates since its predecessor. One thing I really enjoy is the haptic audio feature. If you would like more pseudo-tactile feel, then the S Pen will actually make the sounds as if you're drawing on real paper. I think that's something really cool without having to use textured screen protectors like the paper like. One small caveat that you would notice though is that this haptic audio feature only works on the Samsung Notes app and unfortunately does not work on any other third-party drawing apps like Clip Studio Paint or High Paint, so that's something to consider. Much like Apple, Samsung has adopted the magnetic charging feature at the back of the tablet, which doubles as a holder, but it just sits in a very weird place. For the most part, it will hold the S Pen in place, but it is concerning the fact that you can't see the pen, and could result in losing the stylus. It would have been great if there was a built-in S Pen slot integrated in the tablet, much like the Samsung Note back in the day. I'm sure we can all agree. <laughs> Talking about the S Pen performance here, I find it too small for my liking and found it difficult to control when drawing small details. Compared to the Apple Pencil, the S Pen still feels too small for my already small hands. <laughs> Although already much larger than previous Galaxy Note Pens, it still has dainty proportions, which are also dwarfed by the mammoth screen of the tablet. So all these small considerations add up and skews the sense of space and disrupts the creative flow. Something that I think is pretty cool is that Samsung has made some exciting collaborations with Lemmy and Stadler to create their own versions of the S Pen, which could potentially make drawing experience more comfortable and natural. I haven't tried them out myself yet, but I'm optimistic. So with these considerations, where does the Tab S9 Ultra stand against its other counterparts like the iPad Pro? Before we move on, Geek Culture is supported by brands who help us improve our content. So stick around for this sponsored message. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Lab gaming chairs remain one of our favourites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back to the arms and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. In terms of overall performance, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is definitely up to the task of running demanding art apps. However, I didn't notice a significant difference in performance compared to my iPad Pro 2022. Overall, I think the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is a great tablet for productivity and entertainment, 
but it's not the best choice for a digital artist. If you're looking for a large immersive tablet with great display, fully utilizing the huge screen for productivity and note taking, then the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra is a very good option. However, if you're a serious digital artist, I would recommend sticking with the iPad Pro 2022. No doubt, I can see Samsung trying to create their own edge against the iPads and Apple Pencils. But Apple just takes the lead here. Just the right screen size, higher processing power and the ergonomics of the Apple Pencil and simplicity of the Apple ecosystem makes perfect sense for me as an artist. It just goes to show that bigger doesn't always mean better, but I'm sure Samsung will improve their tablets for creators in the near future. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you found this helpful. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget to check out more of our reviews right here.